Hello guys, welcome back. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, today I'm going to do another practice video. This time I was trying to do something casual, something fast and fun. So um, I was always curious about the, the Brawl Stars UI and I really liked it. And I was thinking like, oh, maybe today is the is, is a day that I'm going to give it a go and just do some practice work on it. And then soon enough, when I started to do the video, I realized there's a bunch of cool little tricks here I wanted to share with you like um, how this background design is basically one layer and uh, also these uh, currency icons here is, is basically just one shape, actually two shape with the icon as well and that's how I achieve all these kind of highlights and stuff. I think it's pretty neat, this is 100% scalable um, and it's all within Photoshop so just wanted to share these with you, okay? So let's have a look, um, alright. Okay, let's start a new artboard. I'm just going to move this out of the way like this. Go to the reference, duplicate it, and then just uh, call this work to, all right. So let's do the background first. Uh, it's very simple. It's one solid layer. So you just go here, solid color. Um, just basically color pick this blue. Okay, we got that. And then there's going to be a gradient in the middle, uh, right? Just going to delete this layer mask for now, and I'm just going to call this background. Double click, add the. Let me just reset default list. There we go. And then gradient overlay, and in here I'm going to reset to default. There we go. So in here I'm going to select this cyan color and then remove the other side, we don't need it and then opacity to zero on this side press ok and then radial alright, um, why don't we see this? Okay, something is not right, oh yes, uh, so basically the problem is that it's um, what happens here, even though the reset alignment should put it in the middle, it doesn't because it kind of like considers this whole screen as a one, so it just places it in the middle like here. So to fix that, you need to do Command A, select your artboard, put it in the mask, and then once you do that, it straight away uh, aligns it in the middle. So that's, that's pretty cool, good to know this. And uh, what I did here, I did two actually, one with 150, and remove it to like 50% and then add another one which was scale to 100 and just bring it up to 100 like that there we go and then from there we have the character so the character is itself is um, let me just move it here um, so it will place it in the middle for you also, uh, I was thinking, let me just have a look there. Yeah, we could potentially go back with this. Yeah, it's much better like that. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Let's do that. So the background is not ready yet. We'll still have this black cut on the top, which we can do with the inner shadow. There we go. So that's a plain black color, 100% opacity, and the distance is 40. You can play with this. Uh, whatever you want, uh, 40 worked for me, um, so that's done. The last thing we need to do is the pattern. So what I did, I literally just went to the reference screen and I just kind of like matched it. First I used a circle like that, something like this, and then just squashed it a little bit like this, right? And then with the same ellipse tool, holding down Alt, I'm sorry, let me just go back like this, yeah. Holding down Alt, you can basically drag out another one and then that will cut out from the original. Uh, something like this, I think should work. And then from here, Command and Alt will duplicate this cutout like that. There we go. Um, okay. Let me just sound like this and this and just move them in a, a 
a little bit anyway this is good and then change it to a rectangle tool and but still drag out and hold down alt so that will remove it from the original shape and just kind of like drag out the rectangle rotate it oops that's too much there we go and then from here i press p for pen tool and just remove the bottom part there we go so that's pretty much like that and then but still with the rectangle tool i just added another shape something like this and i think it was like i don't know like four more than that eight let's go with eight okay cool so that's done another one another rectangle tool just like this and make it rounded duplicate it to the other side actually before we duplicate it let's just rotate it like that 30 degree yeah that seems fine okay 30 degree 45 actually 45 is better okay cool okay let's try to put it in its place there we go duplicate it and then uh, horizontally rotate it there we go select both okay now I can see that I need to work on uh, this one can move to this side this one can move to this side there we go match them together or merge them together even better and then select both layers and press P and then you can just subtract from shape and I will just take that away it's not perfect I would still probably go back and work on it kind of like go to this shape select the selection tool select both eyes and just drag it down a little bit yeah that's already much better but distance is not perfect anyway that's fine for now let's just mer uh, merge everything together and then um, kind of finalize the design here merge shape components and once that's done what I did uh, is just basically uh, convert it to smart object and then I opened the smart object once that's done we can use the crop tool to give us a little bit more space something like this I think something like this is fine yeah perfect change the color to white perfect and then just move it in the middle like this Actually, the better way to rep, um, to show you, you can go to view and pattern view. And then from that, you can see what's happening. So when I move this down into the middle and then I duplicate it and I move it up here to the middle like this. Yeah, like that. Something like this is good. The bottom one could still go down just like this yeah this is perfect because you can see this is kind of like this kind of like a diamond kind of uh, pattern shape here so that's what I try to achieve once that's done all we need to do you can go back to view and just uh, uh, go back to origin of view go to edit and then define pattern um, browse stars there we go and then once that's done we don't need this anymore and we can go back to our original background effects and uh, add the pattern underneath and this pattern is going to be the very last pattern we had yeah there you go so like yeah originally it it looks this way so you can change the angle to negative for um, 15 sorry negative 15 and we'll give you the same result why it didn't do that oh yeah it's there it just needed a bit of time to update so once that's done then it'll look exactly the same like the original so as you can see this is all one layer so that's pretty cool but let's move on to the next one which is these buttons let's do the buttons and um, yeah um, what I'm going to do I'm just actually going to okay yeah that's fine that's fine I'm going to actually work here on this layer so so what happened here I just selected this shape here like the the size is uh, don't remember I don't remember let's see okay yeah okay that should be fine oops 386 uh, by 116 okay there we go so that's done and what we do is just I just basically um, 
color pick this uh, color here and then let's start working on it okay so first of all we need um, a stroke okay so that stroke can be um, yeah it can be outside and it can be two pixel right Ooh, actually I really wanted to run this because you see the corners are quite rounded so let's go with the uh, 8 for now yeah 8 is fine good let's go back to our uh, layer effects after that um, so there's there's basically three elements here we need to, to do uh, one of them is uh, this uh, bottom uh, shadow and then the highlight on the top and that can be achieved with basically uh, one gradient overlay so what happens here you can go and change it to linear okay reset alignment and then just start working on this uh, gradient so I'm just gonna take this color from there and add another opacity anchor point here and the location will be I think 10 let's go with 10 and then the 100% opacity location will go to 10 as well there we go Oops. Press this again so you will reverse the effect there we go okay oh, there's something is not right so that's fine that's not fine this needs to be zero okay cool and then this can go into 10 all right there we go mm -hmm. reset alignment okay let me just change it to classic is that the reason why it doesn't show no it might not be enough oh yeah okay wait a second this is 150 percent scale here that should be just 100 okay that's good much better much better let's go back here and then add the highlight which is going to take that color from that this is 100 percent add another opacity anchor point to zero percent and then just play with it 90 degree the 90% um, is the location and then this as well 90 and then there we got it okay so there's one more little thick um, um, like layer decoration elements here on the corner so that can be achieved with another gradient overlay the same linear and then I'll just go with reset alignment uh, scale 100% yeah, it's fine it's okay and then I'm just going to just take that color and then the zero let's go it just go to something like, I don't know 10 and then the other ones location 10 as well so we got that and then we have to change the line um, the angle of course to I think negative 45 or just 45 yep that should be fine but I mean just press res uh, reverse and then we can drag it to the corner here sometimes it doesn't work and if that happens you have to close the panel open it again and then uh, oops. and then just drag it in the corner and then it will work after that okay so that can happen to you guys as well all right a little bit yeah it's not going to be exactly the same probably this should be a bit smaller or, you know that's fine so and then the last thing we want to do is add a couple of drop shadows okay so one drop shadow which is going to be um, let me just uh, reset the default okay reset the default change to normal mode 100% black color distance is uh, going to be yeah let's go with just three but the size is zero yeah maybe four yeah, I'll go with four for now five all right five and then I had another one which is going to be exactly the same settings but uh, this is going to be uh, well, I'll go with nine I don't like to go with uneven number but yeah that's fine now and then reduce the opacity to 35 actually I'm gonna go and change it to 10 all right so as you can see it has got a little bit of angle here or, or there's, a, there's a tiny bit of skew applied to this uh, button and uh, maybe I am going to just bring this bottom part up a tiny bit uh, let me see I don't like that number 114 is fine so what you need to do is just uh, command T to transform and then skew and then change to horizontal negative 5 once that's done we are ready with our button 
okay I'm gonna go back move this a tiny bit to the side yeah like that okay it's a bit chunkier these highlights and shadow than the other one but that's fine okay and now we're going to work on our text which is going to be select uh, I found this uh, poppins extra bold works fine um, so all you need to do is select this button and then um, align into the middle change the size to let's say 30 nope 24 better align again and then what I'm going to do is just apply a couple of shadows and a stroke so the stroke is outside two pixel that's fine and then another one is going to be a drop shadow. As you can see, there's a small step here, which I don't want. So to achieve a better look with that, um, you need to change the size. But once you start to increase the size, it becomes blurry. So if you if you're going to change the size, which we need to, but we also need to increase the spread. So I'm just gonna go and go up to 100%. As you can see now, it just removes that step. So that's pretty cool. Let's go to, okay. And then um, just move this into let's say primer button. There we go. I'm gonna put it in the middle here, or just trying to align here. All right. So um, let's do the try. Uh, try button is going to be. I'm just going to try to align it like that. Yeah, that's great. So what we need to do is uh, change the color first of all. I'm gonna call this. Secondary. There we go. Let's change the color. The base color is blue. Okay. The highlight and the shadow is going to be a darker and lighter blue. So we're just going to change it. Oops, 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 oops. There we go. And then the small little cut, we have to change that too. So you just select it and then color pick that one too. And that's done so that was pretty easy now we have to change the size once you start to change the size all these properties will um, alter your look so that's that's not really the best so what I like to do is just basically just again select the whole shape um, go to skew uh, remember we used negative 5 now we're going to use positive 5 and then that will basically uh, give you the same original shape and then you can select the top part and bring it down bring it down uh, okay just let me just see what is the size at the moment I can't see that okay now we can see it is 73 I don't like that I want to go back to 74 at least okay and then the corners I'm gonna bring it in um, a tiny bit like that maybe like this good so once that's done, um, we need to adjust the corner here, corner design, reset the alignment and just pull it back in a the corner there, like that, a bit more, a bit more, okay good. So once that's done, let's work on our text, which is going to be try, and then the size is, let's say 16, yeah 16 seems fine and then I'm just going to work a tiny bit on the on the shadow here yeah that seems fine select your base layer and then just align it to the middle okay there we go and then all we need to do actually I select it again and then press skew and then horizontal negative 5 yeah there we go and then we can just move the whole button back to the to the side here yeah it's not exactly the same shape but I eyeballed it so yeah it'll be fine for now and now the another one is going to be the upgrade button so I'm just going to duplicate oops not that one the primary I'm going to duplicate the, the primary button like this and then change the colors let's see okay the base color is green there we go and uh, highlight and the shadow let's see there we go oops go back change the highlight to this here 
Okay, that's done. And then the top one is going to be different like that. Perfect. And once that's done, we can start working on our text, which is, I'm going to change this to 20. Move it to the side a tiny bit and down like that. Duplicate it and then just change it to upgrade. There we go. Change the size to 14. Yeah, like that. Go to shadow and just change that to uh, 2. And then the color as well, it's a tiny bit different, so I'm gonna color pick that. There we go. And then just move it somewhere here. All right, good. Okay, so now we're going to do the, the coin, okay? So that's pretty interesting. That's actually basically two shape. And the first one is going to be, I'm just gonna take the size from here. Nope. Okay. 52. 52 by 52. So what we need to do, change the color. The color is going to be this base color in the middle here. Well, not exactly in the middle, but you know what I mean. And then from there, you can apply a stroke, uh, which is a black, um, I think one pixel is enough. Inside, not outside, inside. Yes, that's good. And then we're going to have another one, which is going to be this color, right? And then increase the size to uh, eight, nine. I'm gonna go with eight. I'm gonna go with nine. I don't like it, but I'm gonna go with that. You know what? I'm gonna go with eight. I can't go with nine. Anyway, drop shadow. Uh, what we're gonna do? We're going to remove the spread. We don't need that. We're going to remove the size. We don't need that. And then I'm going to remove the distance to one pixel also add another one and then we're just going to change the uh, distance to four there we go I can't go with three anyway so that's done and one more thing we can do here is add these highlights so to add those highlights uh, you simply have to duplicate this stroke right go to the field type to gradient uh, um, reset reset to default Oops gradient there we go change this to I'm gonna color pick that from there there we go remove this change the location to 50 and opacity to 0 and then the opacity 100 to 50 as well there we go so once that's done we can just press reset alignment and we can't see it that's not good but uh, okay I think let's just do reverse yeah reverse and also the another thing is that it's only applied on this two pixel stroke so we have to match the, the stroke what we selected which was eight and reset alignment reset alignment yes that's fine let's remove the scale to 50 let's see oh one more thing overprint that's definitely needs to be checked there we go and uh, from linear also we have to change it to radial and once that's done I have to find it where is it okay reset alignment so I'm just going to close it and uh, open it again and then just trying to find it it should be oh yeah there it is so now I'm going to just try to find the same location drag it to the to the corner here a bit more come on come on bit more like that oh no moved yeah you need to play with this well that's that's fine for now okay so I duplicate it and then just move the other one down to the other side okay so just move it back a little bit a bit more yeah like that Tiny bit more. yeah like that perfect so once that's done we created the base and now we just have to create this shape again so um, okay let's let's just do that let's just do that I'm just gonna go and, and do that again that's fine we'll just have this shape here like that and like this there we go I'm just going to do like color pick this there we go 
okay something like that that's perfect and then from that we're going to remove the eyes like this I like that and then command and alt move it to the side a bit more and I can just move a tiny bit more like that yeah like this okay select a rectangle too and then I just um, remove a section of it like that and then turn and rotate it press P remove this bottom section uh, select this and then we can yeah oh, I'm just gonna leave it like that yeah we're not yeah there's no eyebrow that's good okay and from here we'll just add this another shape here and then let's change it to two yeah something like that okay bring it down and to achieve the highlight here it's very simple you just add another gradient overlay okay so this is going to be white there we go um, it's not linear it's radial there we go I remove the reverse here reset alignment and then uh, yeah let's just let's just change the size in a tiny bit at the moment is it location 10 let's go to 20 with another one as well to 20 there we go there we go go back to 100 yeah and then just move it to the side but first let's just close it go back move it to the side There we go. A tiny bit too much. There we go. That's fine. Okay, so once that's done, I'm just going to put them in a, a, a folder, call it a coin, and then just uh, move it to its place. Somewhere like this. Yeah, like that. Like that. And like that. And there we go the upgrade button so we'll just move it back to its place and then we can move on to this um, the rest of the design here so because we already created the, the coin I'm just gonna go and do the do the coins okay so because the top one here is slightly bit uh, slightly bigger so I just want to show you how to scale this so what you need to do is because you have got two separate layer separate shape um, yeah so what you have to do separately uh, transform them to 125 percent so as you can see all the properties are um, not in balance anymore so we lost all the settings because it keeps original settings so you have to right click on the FX button scale effect and go and change it to 125 pixel once that's done it's all um, all good now we do the same with the skull 125 there we go and then we go right click scale effect 125 there we go and that's pretty much it all right and now from here we'll just add underneath a base a kind of funnel which is i'll, I'll kind of keep it this color for now so we can see what we what's happening so uh, right click sorry uh, skew and then negative 5 to have the same angle there we go and then I'm just gonna change it to black now perfect add the text which is 1200 let's see there we go and at that point I don't think it needs to be and needs any any drop shadow or anything like that I think the 24 is too big let's go with 21 is that white it's not anyway so so that's that section is done and I'm gonna call it currency I didn't really bother to name my layer that much but like in, in other way um as you can see on my other design, I, I did name my stuff. So 
in in here for example everything is named you see like uh, try button currency back button character everything is named so it's always good to do that okay let's do the back button here um, all right so what we're gonna do I'm just going to uh, literally take the secondary button um, not the secondary button sorry the primary button and then just uh, change some properties here okay so first of all I'm just going to uh, do some stuff um, let me just remove the top bit we don't need that there uh, green overlay from here I'm just gonna remove this because we don't need it and then the bottom section I'm just gonna color pick that from there and then just change the base color to that and then there we go all right and obviously there's a I need a bit more space so I'm just going to go and uh, change back uh, to uh, this original shape so I can press P select the top and just move it a bit up so I don't have that weird shape on the top and then select I don't need that really so what we need is this uh, let's say like I'm gonna go with 50 and white and then we can rotate it just to create the arrow shape and once that's done we can go with uh, let's say 8 pixel for no 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 that's way too much 4 go with two that's fine and um, let's go with uh, 60 by 60 there we go yeah something like that so once that's done we can duplicate it and then it has got an it, it's not very uniform so we can select and transform and then just hold down the uh, shift key just to to transform this shape to a more diamond like shape and then move it to the side like that and then select both of them press P to pen tool and then subtract the front and then once that's done we can just kind of go back and finalize merge shapes together and we can just duplicate this effect from here from the select uh, obviously we need to modify it a tiny bit especially the drop shadow uh, yeah we can go like that yeah that's fine yeah. and then just uh, remove that move the base to the bot uh, to the to its place like that and don't forget to set back the skew to negative five oh sorry negative five there we go all right, so the back button is ready and uh, let's do this section here which is basically just a triangle um, rectangle and um, I'm gonna keep it gray for now so we can see the change press P and then just select one corner and just uh, you know just kind of like make it really um, uh, wobbly and stuff so one two three times moving up and then twice on the side three times bottom section let's just move it a tiny bit oh, that's fine and then this corner here as well just move it like that yeah there we go so we can just play with this and uh, from there we can just select this color the epic color there we go I'm gonna put it after info. Okay, once that's done, we can go and add a name, which is BB, and change the size to 36, let's say. Yeah, and then just paste the, well, we had um, layer style there. Okay, and then we can, we can also skew it as well, like, but not horizontally, but vertically. Uh, let's say five not five negative five yeah something like that it's fine and then duplicate it 
and let's just say, uh, yeah, change the size to 14, and then just move it up like that. There we go, change the size, I mean, duplicate this section as well, and uh, I think I can just, I don't have to press Q, just go on positive 5 to even it out, change the color to this, there we go. My computer is so slow. Time to buy a new one. I've been meaning to for a long time. Anyway, we got that ready and then we can uh, go back and do negative five. Uh, okay, let's say 12. And we're just going to place this in here. And once that's done, we're pretty much ready. We just need to add this section here. But I'm just going to copy it from my original design. So, so that's all fine, just to save some time with that. Um, but that's pretty much ready. So we can we can literally just take everything what we created and move it to the, duplicate it to the work to folder. And then it's there. I'm going to also do the um, description. Just going to go and move it in there. And then it's done so this is the design I wanted to show you guys and um, I hope you like it if you do please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe uh, it really helps the channel out big time it's a it's a fairly new channel I only have like a couple of hundred uh, subscriber but I really enjoy doing these videos you know I do practice anyway so I was thinking that uh, it would be really cool to share with you and, and see how do you feel. So far there's a lot of positive feedback which I'm really really happy about so that just keeps me motivated and, and you know like um, helps me to, to do some more stuff for you guys and share it with you okay. So don't forget to comment anything you have in mind you want to see some other UI design in the future let me know we can, we can give it a go no problem at all and um, anything you want to share okay thanks bye